Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. These days, a lot of people try to choose environmentally friendly products, but authorities have had to crack down on companies for something called greenwashing. Here's Joe. Traditional herbs and spices are boring. Parsley, get out of here. Oregano, more like oregano. Spice up your life with tasty, all-purpose microplastics. Guaranteed health for you and the planet. Sometimes it's obvious when a product isn't environmentally friendly, but that's not always the case. See, as environmentally friendly products skyrocket in popularity, more and more companies want to jump on the trend. And sometimes they might make misleading or wrong claims about the environmental impacts of their products to appeal to more customers, which experts call greenwashing. Australia's consumer watchdog, the ACCC, is now investigating greenwashing on our shores. After they surveyed 247 businesses from eight sectors and found that more than 50% were potentially making some dodgy enviro claims. It's a pretty big deal because it's not only bad for the environment and consumers, but also to other businesses who are actually trying to stick to their enviro promises. So, the ACCC now wants businesses to double-check all their green claims and make sure they can actually achieve them. If they can't, they should come and talk to us about that before we come and talk to them. And if they don't and are found guilty of dodgy claims, they could face fines up to $10 million. But the ACCC say they'll be helping businesses work out how to fulfil their claims too, which should hopefully get rid of any more dodgy green products. Like, well, it's good stuff, believe me. <laughs> Experts in Egypt have discovered a hidden corridor above the main entrance of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The nine metre long find was made using new technology, which could scan the pyramid and give a picture of what it looks like on the inside. Some experts say it might even lead to more info about whether the burial chamber of King Khufu, an ancient Egyptian monarch, still existed inside the pyramid. Would you be able to tell your dog from its nose? No, not to worry. There's an app for that. Here's Liber. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? I know it was one of you. I found a nose print on the jar. Okay, I don't know if crime fighting is its intended use, but a South Korean company has released an app that can identify dogs by their faces, or more specifically, their noses. So as humans have fingerprints, every dog and cat has its own unique nose print. The company says their app could replace microchipping because it's less invasive and not as prone to getting lost or damaged. And it can even be used on cats. The company says the app is 98.97% accurate. If a pet gets lost, people can scan its face and get the owner's contact details. The company is working with South Korean governments to try and make it a part of their national pet registry. And who knows, maybe it could make its way to the doggy crime underworld. Kale, we didn't even need the app. <laughs> Now it's time to dig deep, just like these next stories. <laughs> you might have to dig deep to muster up enough courage to take a bite out of this ice cream. Yep, it's got bugs in it, but they're totally edible bugs. And this ice cream shop in Germany reckons it's onto a winner with these cricket flavoured desserts. Mmm, he's uh, quite enjoying that, isn't he? Now to Easter Island, and a new Moai statue has been discovered buried in this dry lagoon. The Moai are human sculptures carved out of stone and were made centuries ago by the Rapa Nui people. Locals are pretty chuffed to be adding this one to their collection of known Moai. And finally to London, where sniffer dogs Bess and Buster are being trained to sniff out pangolins. The live animal's critically endangered and indeed one of the most trafficked animals in the world. We reckon one is poached every five minutes. Once they're trained up, they'll be flying to Thailand to help authorities there crack down on the illegal pangolin trade. And with the help of London's Met Police, they're just about ready for action. Well, that's all from us. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.